Hey there, everybody, in this video, we're going to talk about the three golden rules of direct response digital marketing. You need to have these three questions answered, ready to go before you do any kind of advertising. So it's very, very important that you get these things down. If you're new to digital marketing or if you're just not quite sure what you should be doing, this is going to be really, really helpful for you. And it's going to help you to get better results on anything that you're doing, whether it's putting out content, whether it's creating offers, whether it's creating sales. It's going to help you to go a lot further, so you're going to want to watch the whole video all the way through. Let's get into today's video. Hey there, everybody. My name is Brandon Brashears. I make daily digital marketing videos here on this channel, so if you're trying to grow your brand or your business, be sure to subscribe. If you have any questions, be sure to comment and let me know what your questions are. And if you need help with anything, just comment below. Um, also, if you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. So let's talk about digital marketing. Today, we're going to go over the three golden rules of digital marketing that I think are very, very important. If you have these three questions answered, you're going to go a lot further with your marketing. It's going to be a lot more on purpose. A lot of businesses, when they start doing marketing or creating content or anything in general, they just kind of put stuff out there and see, kind of hope for the best type of a situation. And if you want to approach your marketing with strategy, especially if you're you know, super time crunched or you have limited resources as far as ad budgets and things, this is going to help you to get a lot further. So let's get into these three golden rules of digital marketing to help you get more out of your efforts and out of the ad spend that you're putting out. Golden rule number one, you need to be crystal clear on who you're trying to target. You need to know the demographics. You need to know the psychographics. You need to have your client avatar really, really well defined. And I've actually created a video on demographics and psychographics here. And also I've created another video on how to create a client persona right here. Client personas are so important. It's this pre-work of really getting clear on who you're serving, what the, the benefits are, what the actual pain points that they're feeling, not just what the actual you know aspects of the service that you're doing are. Those are important, right? The, the details and what your product is all about or what your service is all about and all of the features of your product or service that you're selling. Those are very, very important. But what are the emotional triggers that you're going to be using what is the reason why people are willing to do business with you? What are they looking for? What are you actually ultimately solving for them? I'll give you some examples here. You know, if you want to, I'll give you my example actually as a digital marketer. People want more sales and more revenue for their business. But why do they want more sales, more revenue? They want more money because it gives them freedom. It causes less stress. It's less worry. They're able to support their employees. They're able to support their family. They're able to give their family the life that they've always wanted. That's very different than saying, hey, I'm going to run Facebook ads for you, right? If you just talk about the manual process of what you're doing, you reduce yourself to a commodity. You don't want to do that. You want to be a solution that's going to give emotional benefit, not just actual technical benefit. That is important for sure. They need to know that you're going to be you know, competent and that the work is going to get done in the proper way or that the service or the product is going to actually solve that problem, right? But if you are able to connect with them emotionally, understand really what their emotional state is, what their biggest fears are, what their biggest worries are, what their biggest pain points are, what are their biggest concerns, you're going to go a lot further. So make sure you're crystal clear on exactly who it is that you're targeting. The next golden rule of digital marketing is make sure that you have typically one call to action. There's always exceptions to the rule, but when you have a product or service that you're trying to sell, or you create a piece of content, or you send out an email, or you, you know, whatever the marketing activity that you're doing is, you need to have one primary objective. Now, refining it down to one primary objective gives you a way to measure success. So many times, this happens all the time, people say, you know what, this doesn't work, Facebook ads doesn't work, email marketing doesn't work, chatbots don't work, SEO doesn't work. That's because you're not measuring the correct type of KPI that's going to be appropriate for the stage of the funnel that you're targeting or the kind of content that you're putting out. Make sure you know what it's supposed to do and hopefully it has that one call to action in it. If you're sending out emails and you say, okay, I'm a veterinary practice and I'm going to send out an email to my database and I'm going to measure the success on how many appointments the email gets us. And you send out an email and you talk about, you know, heartworm and you talk about seasonal problems that are happening with pets and all of these great pieces of information, but you don't give people a way to book an appointment. How can you say that it's not working right? 
make sure that the call to action lines up with the objective and make sure that you're giving people a very simple way to do business with you. Don't make it harder for them than it should be, right? So many times, I see this all the time, people send out emails and there's no button for call to actions. And I know that you're super busy and I know that the problem's right in front of you, right? And so you're, you're trying to figure out what to do. But you need to make it very simple for people to take action. The lowest amount of friction possible in this process is gonna help you to get far more in um, conversion and make sure that you're just very, very clear on what you want the action to be, how to take the action, what's in it for them. The third golden rule of digital marketing is don't be boring. You need to be exciting. And I know that so many businesses and brands fall into this trap where you, you just create a piece of content that's for everyone and in turn it shows up for nobody. If you create something for everybody and it's just boring and it's plain and it's vanilla, you're missing out on opportunities. We're going back to number one here. You need to know exactly who you're targeting. Make sure that all of the ads that you're doing, all of the content that you're doing, all of the language used in this content is going to speak to that specific person. I can't tell you how important this is. Digital marketing gives you the ability to pinpoint specific demographics, specific interest groups, specific hobby groups with laser-like targeting. So don't waste that opportunity. If you want to attract people who want to pretend to be mermaids and that are, you know, dachshund owners, you could find that group. You could find I've seen crazy, crazy things um, that you can do, and it just helps you to get out of the noise, stand out, and be far, far more effective. So, you know, I see a lot of companies do this where they, they create content, they're not themselves and their personality, they're not authentic with who they are, and they're just trying to put out like a corporate, super boring persona that's just super, super boring. I, I was thinking about a former client who I've seen their, their new work that they've been putting out, and they are so boring. It's like they're trying to become the Hertz rental car of their current brand, right? They're, they're just putting out the most bland, boring stock photos I've ever seen. Don't put out boring stock photos. Take pictures yourself. Take video yourself. Show your personality. Show what you're interested in. Be sure to share with what you're going through with, with your clients and customers. Share behind the scenes of cool things going on with employees help people to get a better context and a better feeling of why they should do business with you. People wanna do business with those that they know, like, and trust. So be sure to be authentic. It's really interesting, social media and, and things give people the ability to be more authentic and transparent than ever before. But it's so interesting because people curate and really refine their marketing and their messaging so much so that you're only seeing you know the highlight reels of things. That is, if you want to stand out from that, you can share more real things. You can share more authentic things. You can connect with people who are like you, who are interested in the same things as you. Don't be afraid to draw lines in the sand about what you're interested in, what kinds of things you love doing, what kinds of things you like working on, who you like working with, exciting things that are going on in the office. Don't hesitate to share that. Obviously, you don't want to be divisive or get, you know, maybe <laughs> hate mail coming in or something like that. But you know what I mean, you can share your personality, you can share things that you're excited for in pop culture that are going on and really help to connect, especially in places like Snap and places like Instagram stories and things that are more you know, temporary content, putting out stuff that shows what you're interested in, who you are, and the personality behind the brand makes you to be a lot more relatable. So don't be boring, be as exciting as you can. Let's recap here really quick. Number one, you wanna make sure you know exactly who you're marketing to if your target market is everyone, then you actually have nobody in mind. Number two, get clear on the call to action. What is it that you're looking for them to take action on? And then how are they gonna take that action? How will you measure success? Number three is don't be boring. Stop with the boring, make native content, make content laser focused to specific demographics of people and speak to those people. Talk to the things that are really, really important to those small pockets of the population who you're trying to attract. Don't be boring, don't be bland, and get out. 
So I hope, I hope that this video was helpful to you. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want help with digital marketing, comment below. If you have any questions, comments, need help with anything, please also subscribe. If you want to grow your brand or your business with digital marketing, you're going to want to be sure to be subscribed here. I create daily marketing video tutorials. I also vlog about growing my agency, and I also talk about sales and other things like that here too. So if any of those things are interesting to you, be sure to subscribe. I will see you on the next video. Have a fantastic day.